Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from the Saudi Pro League. It's Al Nasser, and they face Al Itihad. Thanks Derek, as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? This is how it looks for the home side. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. And this confrontation is underway. Good looking attack launched by Ronaldo here. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. You know, when Ronaldo is on the pitch, we tend to think he'll stamp his authority on the game, Stuart. What in particular do you expect to see from him this time around? Well, Derek, we know he's a good all-round finisher, but I think his greatest attribute is his head inability. He seems to hang in the air, he's got great technique when the ball comes onto his head, and he usually hits the target. That's his greatest skill. Well, he stopped them in their tracks, and teammates around him. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it! How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Luis Gustavo. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Anderson Tavisca. Crossing opportunity. And it's with Luis Gustavo here. On to Ronaldo. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Ronaldo, can they take the lead here? Oh, it's a goal! And certainly a deflection off the defender into the back of the net. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Moving it forward. 
but nothing comes of it good defending it was well let's see what they have in store for them on the break and just like that the counter-attack comes to an end he's in here it has to be surely Ronaldo high class defending right on the goal line and you don't want to lose possession there in it goes he's made it a brace for himself no stopping him apparently Well, let's take another look and you have to say the defending is so poor that's far too easy the keeper had no chance there so back underway with the lead standing at 2-0 Abderazak Hamdala. Now let's see what they can do here. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Al Khaybari. Plenty of support here. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And he didn't hesitate. Good thing, too. Well, he's so quick off his line. That's great goalkeeping, you have to say. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, we're focusing on Cristiano Ronaldo for a reason, Stuart. Fair to say, he's been at his brilliant best. Well, he's scored good goals, but his all-round play has been excellent. He looks like scoring every time he gets on the ball. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Teammates available. Giving it a try. Determined defending. And with that, the attack fizzles out. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Martinez. And they need to get tighter here. Tremendous ball played through. Well, now in a dangerous position. That is a tackle and a half. <laughs> Played over. The clearance wasn't decisive. Alvaro. On to Ronaldo, chances on. Well, what a stop that was. Anderson Tavisca. The supporters want to see him have a go. Nicely timed tackle. Ronaldo. Surely. And a goal to seal the hat trick. A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. Three goals without reply.
And he's lost custody of the ball here. It might be. Oh, goodness me, off the post. Ronaldo. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something. Oh, stellar defensive work to get back and win possession. Can he find the right pass? Anderson Talisca. A bit sloppy in possession. And it's with Luis Gustavo here. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Well, when it's you against the goalkeeper, I'm sorry, you've got to do better. Well, the stoppage time situation, one minute here. Well, the fans are begging for a shot. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, here it is again, and I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance.